nice hustle, Lex. Friday was a great day to be associated with the Gladstone baseball or softball programs. Good Friday evening, everyone. It seems like the Gladstone softball team never rebuilds, they just reload. The Gladstone baseball program is just in its second year already. After a long but fun day of district action, the two programs now have something in common. Even though the game was at Donaldson Field today in baseball early on, the Braves were the road team for this Division Three district contest. Top of the first, Gladstone up 1-0. Jake Peterson goes up the middle for a single to center. Hunter Garling scored from third, and the Braves led 2-0 after the top half of one. Nagani responded in the bottom half of the inning after a very long at-bat. Tyler Jandron flies one to right that falls in. Drake Drays couldn't come up with the ball cleanly. Jandron tries stretching it to second. The throw to the bag gets away, which allowed Chad Larson to score from third. Jandron ended up on third, and the Miners trailed 2-1. Next up for Nagani, Eric Laurie. He would ground out to third as Ben Schwalbach makes the play, but that scored Jandron to tie the game at two. In the fourth, Gladstone breaks up the tie. Christian Grolo, they call him Crazy Eights. You can also call him Mr. Clutch. A base hit up the middle scored Nick Trudeau to make it 3-2 Gladstone. The Braves would add a sack fly later in the inning, and they would win it 4-2. Gladstone would go on to face someone else in the district final. Well, let's find out who that team is. In the other semifinal today at Gladstone, Houghton and Superior Central needed eight innings to settle their contest, and it was Houghton who advanced to the finals with a 5-4 win. So it was Gladstone and Houghton in the district final on a very warm night in Delta County. Top of the third, the Braves lead went from 2-0 to 4-0 with one mighty swing of the bat. Hunter Garling goes over the fence and right for a two-run shot, and Garling would be mobbed at home by his teammates. Meanwhile, on the mound for the Braves with Jake Peterson as he strikes out Caleb Carson, Carlson there in the third. The Gremlins, though, didn't go away quietly. Cole Jepson keeps the inning alive with a single to center field. Houghton had two on and two out Number in the eight, third, Reed, but Peterson would get out of the jam by freezing Reed Piedla for a called strike three to end the inning. Then in the fourth, Peterson shows off his range. Watch this play. The pitcher diving to field the ball, and he gets the throw to first in time for the out. Gladstone won the game 10-0 in six innings for the Braves' first ever district title. Gladstone just started the baseball program once again two years ago. At the Division IV district in Ironwood today, the Red Devils shut out North Central in the semifinals. Norway got by Stevenson 8-7. And in the championship game, the Knights splanked Ironwood 3-0. Norway moves on to the regional at Roger City next week. Looking ahead to the district baseball game scheduled for tomorrow, the Marquette Redmen are in the Division I district at Traverse City West. Marquette faces TC Central tomorrow at 10 a.m. The championship game takes place a little after 2. The Escanaba Eskimos are in the Division II district semifinals at Petoskey. They get Sheboygan at noon. The district championship game is also set for a little after 2 p.m. Back to the highlights, the Braves, the Miners in Gladstone, but this time it's softball. Runs were hard to come by in this one early. Hits were as well. Lexi Hongisto from deep in the hole at short throws a seed to first in time for the out. On the mound for the Miners today was Rosalie Anderson, and the Nagani senior kept the Braves batters at bay all afternoon long. She gets Morgan Kowalski to swing and miss in the second. Top three, the Braves threatening with the bases loaded. Anderson gets Bridget Becker to pop up the short. Adina Anderson makes the grab, and the game remained scoreless. In the bottom of the third, now Nagani had a runner on first, but Braves catcher Lauren Parrott fires a bullet from home to first, but Rosalie Anderson would be called out. A nice play all around by Parrott in the Braves. There was no score when I left in the sixth. In fact, the game would go 11 innings. International tiebreaker rules came into play, and the Braves would win it 5-0 over the Miners to advance to the district final. In the other district semifinal at Gladstone, Manistee defeated Gwynn 16-2 in five innings to advance to the final, where the Gladstone Braves scored early and often against the Emeralds, winning the game 12-0 in five innings. Gladstone has now won 14 Straight district championships. The Braves are off to the regional next weekend at Traverse City, St. Francis. At the Division IV district at Ironwood, Norway defeated Lance 7-2, and Ironwood took down Ishpeming in five innings. In the championship game, Norway outlasted the host Red Devils 9-5 to capture the district title. Norway plays at the regional next week at Rogers City. Like their baseball counterparts, the Marquette Redettes are also downstate. They play TC Central in the district semifinals at TC West tomorrow at noon. The championship game a little after 2. In the Division II district at Petoskey, two UP teams, Escanaba and Kingsford, will play for one spot in the final.
First pitch is set for noon with the championship game. Once again, a little after two.